Greetings everybody, this is Costa for Pinnacle Stone Restoration. A beautiful sunny day and great day to start. Very interesting project, which I mentioned earlier in um, our videos. Uh, we are doing something called texturing uh, stone. As you know, there's a you can polish stone, you can hone it, and you can also texture finish it or make a leather finish or antique finish, you name it. Basically what the stone has, it has the you know texture to it. Like a, like a wrinkly leather. So anyway, uh, we got this beautiful project, um, great stone, quartzite slabs, basically, not tiles, that makes the whole entire uh, main floor of the custom home here in suburbs of Chicago. So the stone never looked uh, right as polished. Certain stones not meant to be polished. The more you polish it, the more blotchier it gets. So like customer wasn't happy about the appearance of the stone. So idea came to why don't we make, instead of polished or instead of honed surface, why don't we make it texture finish? Because what's gonna happen, texture finish is going to, um, is going to hide those imperfections that stone has, different minerals. So basically, that's what we're going to do. This is gonna be eight plus system, but instead of using the diamond pads, uh, we are going to use diamond brushes. So I'll be getting back to you with more details as as we go because you know I want to cover every stage or every every part of the refinishing process. So uh, stay tuned, and we'll be talking more about the profiling process later. Second day of our interesting project, uh, texturing uh, quartzite uh, slab floors. So, um, just want to highlight what we did yesterday. What we did, of course, uh, the first step of eight plus system when we removed the grout. Uh, we removed the grout, and um, it was a quite a big area, so it took us like the whole day to remove the grout. So today, what we did, we just inserted um, into grout joints the epoxy material, like polyester. Um, white um, resin and cures right away because it's very warm right now so so you know like the polyester or epoxy they cure much faster when the warm weather is around so cured very fast so it made us um, you know gave us chance to grind it right away so right now we are grinding floor we grinding leafage off well, making it flat so preparing the stone for brushing for um, texturing process so all day today we are going to uh, cut the lippage with the first grid of diamond metal bond and tomorrow I'll get back to you with the brushing process. That's that's where the most interesting process starts doing the profiling stone. our third day of the refinishing this um, uh, quartzite floor so first day we remove the grout second day we uh, uh, grind off the lippage uh, we use a metal band so now we started the using diamond brushes so this is most important part of this whole process so this is the process when we creating the texture finish so the profile into the stone so everything is going well of course we had to adjust some of the toolings because we using one particular tools uh, from different manufacturer and then we have different machines from different manufacturers 
So we have to come out with some kind of um, the ways to put them together, which took us some time, but anyway, we, we achieved that. Now we have everything set up. So guys are grinding, I mean, uh, brushing the floor. I wouldn't say grinding. This is the wrong terminology to use in this case. It's a brushing the stone with a low grit. We started with um, number uh, 36. So uh, that created already texture. And then we are gonna move with, a, you know, 46, then 60, and now, you know, like, um, you know, up to probably 400 grit. But I'm gonna be back and I'm gonna uh, talk more about the process itself as we uh, move forward. Uh, till then, then. Thank you. day of the project uh, as I mentioned earlier we went uh, over the floor with the brushing uh, tools from um, low grit as, as as low as 24 grit all the way to uh, 400 grit so what it, it gave us the texture it gave us not only texture it gave us that very nice and very pronounced texture that we were looking for but the, there wasn't sheen so as I mentioned earlier, we were, we were going to go with the DIP systems like diamond impregnating pad systems to get that luster, that sheen, that what also helps to uh, see the texture. So we went over uh, with um, uh, three steps of the DIP system and I'm very pleased with the results. I can't tell you enough. Uh, you're gonna see it, you gotta see it very closely and you will know exactly what I'm talking about. It's, it's beautiful, it has that pronounced edges, it has uh, every mineral also kind of looks different and it, it glows, some of them are glowing, the, some of the colors are really, 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 never looked as good as they're looking right now. And then good news, they're always gonna look this way. This is quartzite, very hard stone. Once we create that texture, once we create that pattern, then it's, it's good to go forever. You're not gonna be able to water it off. You know, it, it actually is going to look better and better with time. So very pleased with the results. Um, this is one of the, I would say, very successful project. I was very excited uh, from the beginning and I'm very excited with the results. So uh, watch this video and just uh, let us know your questions and uh, we'll be getting back to you with uh, other videos of, of very interesting projects, all right? See you guys.